Here we are with video five from Rockwall, Texas and the American Cut Glass Association Convention for 2022. I'm Franz Helwig. Email me if you would like to purchase anything, have any questions, or would like individualized photos. Email me at franzwig at cox.net. You can also text 504-975. 5279. And video 5 begins with this miniature cut glass mug in Russian, clear button uh, version. And it's the last one I have. It is 325. Um, I'll do a show special of 150. And here's a candle. Uh, chamber stick I should say it's signed Libby shown in their catalog hollow body star to base really cute chamber sticks are always very collectible it's 1100 it's an unusual tab handled serving tray it also is signed Libby it's also shown in their catalog it has two compartments or actually three compartments if you count the round which I believe might have been with toothpicks or something. Unusual shape and it is 275. Here's a really cool urn vase with the square base. It's in the heart pattern by Pitkin and Brooks. Pattern shown on page 53 of the 1909 catalog. Brilliant blank, sharp detailed cutting, fancy neck and throat, scalloped, a fluted top. I think it's about 12 inches tall and it is $16.95. It's one of the best examples of heart that I've ever seen. So early rare pattern by Libby. It's Florence. It's a seven inch diameter plate. It's around 1893 piece. The seven inch plate is 185. Another seven inch plate by Libby. It's their Azora pattern shown on page 123 of the large catalog reprint. Nice cutting, notch prisms, cane, hop stars, and it is 125. For the New Yorkers, we have an ideal cut glass diamond poinsettia, seven inch plate. These are very hard to find. There's three little nicks on the rim, they're very minor. So that's only $95. One one rated six inch diameter ice cream plate. It's cutting Grecian Bahawks. Nice quality, nice cutting of Russian and clear tusks, 1880s design, and that example is 110. Another 7 inch diameter plate by Libby. I think it's the first time I've ever found one of these, and it's in Kenmore. It's shown on page 20, 121 of the large catalog. Nice heavy blank, brilliant cutting, uh, really well done example of a fairly scarce pattern. And it's 165. Another really early 1890s piece by Libby is this seven inch diameter plate in Kimberly. Uh, very deeply cut, heavy, clear blank, and this Kimberly is 125. Very desirable seven inch plate it is Star by Meriden. It's a classic, very beautiful design. It's shown in Bodges identifying on another plate. Uh, this is 475 for the seven inch plates. They're very popular. Uh, they display well. They show the pattern perfectly and they don't take up a ton of room in a cabinet. Another 1 1 rated piece of Grecian by Hawks. It's a finger bowl. It's 275, but I would do a show special of 175. Um, nice early example of Hawks. There's a large cologne cut in oval and split by Dorflinger. It has a sterling stopper, big sterling stopper. Nice cutting, uh, $7.95. Here's a, um, another cologne. It's cut all in flutes, has a hop star base, the sterling stopper with the long dauber. Very unique piece, and it is 295. 
Dorflinger's Marlboro pattern, and it's a cherry jar. And it's shown exactly in the line drawings as such. It has the pattern cut stopper, unique shape, really nice cutting on a great blank. It's six seventy-five. dollars Probably the nicest Pruitt I've ever seen. It's green cut to clear, raised diamond panels, uh, clear hollows, pretty floral engraving, pattern matching, colored stopper, fluted and notched handle, and it is $12.95. That's another one of a kind. It's a beautiful pair of decanters. They're kind of pear shaped. They're cut in Maryland by William Anderson, 11 and a quarter inches tall. Uh, $6.95 for the pair or $3.95 for a single if one desired. Maryland's shown in the Chain of Evidence book. Here's four uh, taper sherries in the Russian pattern with starred buttons by Dorflinger. Have a fastened hollow knob in the stem, starburst base, four and a quarter inches tall, and the set of four is $2.25. Very beautiful emerald green hawk wine, seven inches tall. And it is 175. There's a uh, one one quality sugar shift sifter or uh, muffineer. Great sterling top. It's cut all in pillars and cane by J. Hoare. Has a little wafer base. Um, super piece, it's $8.95. There's a single tumbler cut in the Ellesmere pattern by Libby, shown in the rip red and gray catalog. It is signed, and the tumbler is $3.25. It's a syrup jar, flip top, sterling top. Um, seven and a half inches tall and it is 175. That's a really nice piece. I just found that in New Orleans a week ago. I have two cranberry cuts of clear wine, wine stems. Um, probably Stevens and Williams or maybe Webb. Hunties, quarter diamond, solid, fluted stem. They are 125 a piece. Another 1-1 one, one pattern by Tuthill, their vintage pattern, grapes, beautifully engraved. Um, Hopstar Gallery, oval tray, it is $3.25 and it's signed. It's a really cute cucumber tray, uh, beautifully engraved, nice detail, beautiful work on the leaves, and it is $2.85. One one quality, one of the rarest patterns that Sinclair did is stars and pillars and engraving. It has a gallery of tusks, then galleries of very tiny, finely cut hob stars, and then the engraved border. It's six sided, eight and a quarter inches diameter. That's a must have for a collector. It's a pattern that you never see, you'll never find. Uh, I was thrilled when I finally got an example for myself. Here's an assemblage of five engraved wines. They're possibly Webb or Stevens and Williams. Very delicate engraving, all kinds of colors. There's a olive green, a deep amber, a peach, a green, and then a cranberry. There's five, $14.95. I'll do a show special of $8.95. Some single flare tumblers in poppy by Libby. The shape is unique. They're fluted and then engraved, and the engraving is second to none. These are really nice. They're signed, uh, shown on page 200 of the Rarities book, and they are 225 each. And here are the last two of these amethyst finger bowls by Webb. They're five inches in diameter. Beautiful color. Really nice cutting. They're impressive in person and they're $225 each. And here's a 10 inch, I believe, 
Footed Vase in Navarre by Hawks. It's signed Popstar Base. Uh, cute little piece, very unique shape, and it's only $3.45. And this is a, an example of the uh, World's Fair stems that were cut by Libby at the World's Fair site. They built a temporary small factory to produce, uh, show the world the finest they could do in engraving. Uh, this one's had the rim polish, but there's the monogram of the R. Even the feet, the foot, is very well engraved, and so is the stem. There's a teardrop in the stem. It's a tall wine, uh, and it is one of a kind. Uh, it's the only one I've ever seen, but it's $3.95. There's a single soda tumbler in pattern number 293 by Dorflinger. Great blank, well cut. These are soda or champagne tumblers, and this is the last one at $65. Another scarce design is this Hawks Starlight pattern, and this is a flared tumbler. Very cute engraving, uh, heavy blank, heavier than you'd expect. Nice quality, and it is $175, and that's also the last one. And then here's a cane and pillars. Um, cologne bottle, uh, very thick, clear tusks, faceted bottom, sterling top, very neat piece, nice quality, and it is $2.95. And that concludes video six, I believe, and we will be back. We're again in 2022 Rockwall, Texas ACGA convention.